While we're talking about crowdfunding, it's a good time to remind you that Mark Roderick is SBN TV's crowdfunding legal consultant and advisor. If you would like to consult with Mark, just let us know by emailing us here, info at sbncrowd.com. We will arrange a conference with Mark for you. We think you'll learn pretty quickly that Mark is an expert in all types of crowdfunding. Think about portals as retail stores. Uh, think about a portal as DSW, except instead of selling shoes, the portal is selling business opportunities. Um, in the crowdfunding world today, we have a handful of stores. Um, and there are stores for different flavors of crowdfunding, the Title II stores, the Title III stores, and the Title IV stores. In Title III, and I don't want to go too much into detail here, in Title III, you can only sell those goods through a portal, through a regulated store, okay? In Title II and Title IV, those companies don't have to sell through portals. They can have their own website and sell, sell their own shoes on their own website. But if you're trying to sell shoes under Title III, you have to sell through a store. When you think about the retail world in the United States and all the stores that exist, there are stores for everything. Right? There are big box stores, there are boutique stores, there are shopping malls with all kinds of stores. Um, there are high-end stores, there are low-end stores. There's Bloomingdale's, there's Macy's, well, Macy's is having trouble, but um, there's Walmart, there's Kmart, there's every conceivable kind of retail store. We have an extremely well-developed and well-built-out retail network. And when an entrepreneur in the retail business believes he or she sees an opportunity for a new niche market, there's a new store, okay? Crowdfunding is in the very beginning. Crowdfunding is, is like where the American automobile industry was in about 1912. And as one result of that, there aren't that many stores. We, we really do have the landscape of stores that, um, you know, again, when, when the American West was first being settled in 1840 and 1850, we had a few stores out on the prairie, general stores, okay? We didn't have malls. We didn't have anything close to malls. We didn't have segmentation. So, to finally get around to answering your question, there are going to be a lot more portals Portals are going to be, I believe, at least initially, segmented in all kinds of ways based on what kinds of shoes they sell, you know, what kind of products, industry types, um, ge geography, you know, we'll have stores that sell real estate in Manhattan, which we already do, and others that sell real estate in Florida and different kinds. So, I believe we can expect to see a lot more portals. I mean, a lot more. And then, of course, you'll get shakeout in the industry. But as the trickle of money that we're now seeing flowing into crowdfunding investments turns into a stream and a river and a flood, which I think, you know, we're talking about a trillion dollar market here, a multi-trillion dollar market. And when more and more of that money starts to flow in, you're going to see, uh, you know, portals exploding, I believe. And then we'll just, we'll have to see how the market will develop. Boy, I wish I knew, you know, just in 1912, I wish I knew who the winners were going to be in the automobile industry. But unfortunately for me, I don't. Back with more news in a minute. Stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network.